And now we're going to have a chat with somebody from one of the most inspiring companies, one of the real innovators, an absolute icon. Uh, it's a real pleasure to, this, to welcome to the virtual stage uh, Beatriz Reyero, who is the Global VP of Strategy and Customer Insights at eBay. Now, Beatriz is an established, experienced digital and e-commerce executive with a passion for digital transformation. She's currently leading the strategy and transformation team for global eBay marketplaces, working with the global marketplaces leadership team to define and implement many of eBay's strategic priorities, including new business models. We are delighted to have you join us today. Beatriz, welcome to South Summit 2020. Hola, bienvenidos. Hola, <laughs> thanks for having me. Oh, lovely to meet you virtually. Um, so I, I had a few questions. Uh, one of the things that struck me very much in terms of data to come out of the pandemic was a study by McKinsey, and their analysis found that e-commerce grew more in 90 days in the spring of 2020 than it did over the previous 10 years. So it really has changed things. And when you think about people being in a lockdown, um, you know, they're going to do things differently. So I'm just curious uh, to start with, what did you see at eBay in terms of changing consumer behavior? You know, were folks kind of selling things that they needed to get rid of? Were they buying different things? What did you see? Yeah, I, I think a big part of what we have seen is similar to other e-commerce players, which is people really buying things that they did in confinement. So a lot of furniture for, for, for home and for the office that they needed to have a home, sport articles, entertainment, do-it-yourself, electronics. Um, people has really done a lot of buying to, to, to make easier um, to spend the confinement at home. And I think that is being general um, across uh, uh, e-commerce platforms and countries, uh, which is great because I think a lot of people has tried for the first time in some cases to, to buy this type of big ticket items um, through the internet and you know realize that, that that's a way in which things can be done. Uh, and of course, uh, in eBay in particular, uh, we have been also uh, a big market for, for C2C use items. We also seen a lot of people after spending a lot of time at home realizing that there are a lot of things that they also can dispose and, you know, enter into, into that type of uh, different e-commerce. Yes, wonderful. I, I mean, uh, obviously, you see a lot of what your friends are posting on social media, and a lot of my friends are uh, fans of uh, soul music from the 1960s and 70s, and a lot of them <laughs> spent a lot of time on eBay buying really, you know, big ticket items, like you say. Um, so obviously, that's you know, my friends are of a certain age; they're they're not by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> they're, they're Gen Xers, but Gen Zs. Uh, Gen Zers, the Zoomers, um, actually behave very differently. I'm curious to hear your perspective on what Gen Z, the Zoomers and the Gen Zs are doing uh, on eBay and with e-commerce in general. Uh, how are they so different? So, so I think Gen Z is the first generation of digital natives. So they really are people that were born uh, full into the internet. Uh, and that makes them a very interesting but difficult target, really. They are, they are very, very connected. Um, you know, an interesting piece of data, they spend on average seven hours a week on social media only watching video. So that is going to change a lot um, how e-commerce is going to have to be done in the future. Um, you know, the people that really, really trust influencers 40% of them really rely on what an influencer um, tells them on these videos to make a purchase. Um, so very connected, very into social media, much more into the circular economy. So, uh, you know, 40% of them, for instance, they, they, they buy already used items and, and they can recycle and give a second life to, to what they buy. That's, that's part of what they really want to do. They look more uh, for more authentic, brands that you know resonate with their beliefs uh, so a lot of interesting opportunities but they also are used to and really expect 
a frictionless experience. And that's where it becomes difficult, right? Like they have an attention span of eight seconds. <laughs> they really used to get really quick stories on videos and so on, eight seconds. So most of them do not have any tolerance for slow downloading or difficult, you know, browsing and so on. So interesting, different and difficult. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's so interesting. So th thank you for joining us, Beatrice. That was a fascinating look under the hood of the future of e-commerce, what the Gen Zers are doing, and what's happening in D2C marketplace like eBay. That's so influential, so famous. And uh, I know that everybody I know uses eBay. So it's great to, uh, to chat with you. And thank you so much for joining us.